It's super hot right now, like 90 degrees, so the swamp cooler will be on in the background and you can't complain about it. But today, we are going to do this thing where I have a paintbrush and I'm going to pollinate Nepenthes. Wow. Now, I've done this like twice in the past, but let's be honest, the first time was really, really bad. The second time, I tried to fix the mistakes I did the first time, and it wasn't like information error, it was just like a crappy video. And then the second time was really like, it was even worse, because it was raining and you couldn't hear anything. So this time, we are going to do it again, and hopefully that thing in the back won't be distracted. So what you're gonna need is a light colored paintbrush so you can see the pollen. Uh, and you're also essentially, like really essential, not essentially like as in the way that other people say it in a weird way, but like it's essential that you need a male Nepenthes right here that has open flowers and stuff. And you also need a female Nepenthes to put it over here. And if you don't have one of these, then you can either give your pollen to someone with a female Nepenthes and do a 50-50 split or vice versa, give your ovaries to another person with plant ovaries, not yours, that would be weird. And if you're a male, that would be even weirder, but okay. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this fresh pollen. Wow, so fresh, very nice. And we're just gonna go like brush it off with this. And you can see all the pollens on there. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Nope. So you should be able to see that little tiny bit of yellow on the tip of the paintbrush. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take this over here and avoid the swamp cooler because that is going to mess up the map though. But now you're gonna take your female Nepenthes, I mean your paintbrush, and wipe it onto the female Nepenthes stigma ovary, I don't know what it's called, but you're just gonna go like, boom, precision. And as you can see, there is some pollen on there, you can't see it, but um, yeah. My camera's really bad at focusing, but just trust me, there's a little tiny bit of pollen on there, and really, you, you could pollinate like a lot of flowers with just one male flower, because it only really takes like one little speck of pollen to do the plant stuff, so um, it works. And then the fun part is repeating that step, the same step, over and over for every single flower on your female Nepenthes, which is super fun, right, you know, because it's not tedious at all. Just gather some pollen, try not to spill it. If you spill it, that's okay, there's more in the world. And uh, Nepenthes flower more than once, so don't worry if it, um, you mess up or something. You'll just have to wait a few more months. This one right here flowered like twice this year, so pretty well. And once you've done that, then you're going to wait, and if you pollinate it correctly, which in most cases you do because it's not really that hard to pollinate, the pods should start growing from whatever that is into like a thing, and then when they turn brown, they fall off, and they kind of like split open, so you gotta get them like right at that moment. And I actually have a tutorial on that, which you can see somewhere on the screen, probably like this area over here, because my head's not there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to leave a thumbs up, and like the video, which is the same thing, and subscribe to my channel for new videos right daily, and favorite the video if you want to come back to it, because this is helpful, you will need it in the future no matter what. So, um, I will see you guys later, bye!